Hey guys, happy Friday to you. Uh, Joe Owens here with JoeOwensCustomBaits.com. Uh, today is Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Uh, you know, what's better than being able to work all day, come home from work, do a quick YouTube video in your purple uh, animal pajamas? Nothing, right? Now I got the slippers on too. Uh, on the last interview that I did, it was on a tight spot arrow quiver for a compound bow. Well, I told you guys then that I'd probably be doing another video on a different quiver that I decided to buy. Uh, for those of you that may not know, here at JoeOwensCustomBaits.com, whenever we do a product review, understand that it's always going to be based on my personal experience. It's going to be based on something that I've used and on my first-hand knowledge of the quiver. So uh, let me show you the new quiver that's mounted on the honey bow, tell you a little bit about it, and uh, we'll, we'll give you an honest review of it and see what you think. Uh, this is the actual box that the, that the quiver come in. I ordered this uh, directly uh, from Hoyt. Uh, this is a six uh, arrow quiver. It's two piece, it's carbon. It says here that it weighs 8.2 ounces. And uh, let me show you a picture of it. I don't have the arrows uh, uh, in my quiver yet, but uh, here's the top piece here. And here's the bottom piece here couple of things about this that are different than the tight spot quiver. One, this is a six arrow quiver opposed to a five. Uh, it seems to be really good quality to be honest with you. A couple of things that I really like about this, uh, not only is it real easy to adjust these as far as the vertical uh, adjustment that you got here, but you can also adjust these and uh, with a horizontal adjustment. You see here how it's on the shaft? You can mount the quiver closer or further away from your bow. This is the way that I have mine mounted because it balances with the bow real good like this. I may adjust it a little bit more after I get the arrows in it. Uh, love the camo. Uh, this one here's got the, uh, the insert foam up here, which being a guy that shoots cutting edge broadheads, that's important to me. That's one of the reasons why I was looking for another quiver. Uh, so is there anything about the quiver that I don't like? Well, I've already said that it holds six arrows. It's two piece, which I like. It's very lightweight. Uh, that the, the mounting uh, hardware and everything else on it seems to be just of the highest quality, but yeah, I know there's the but factor. Uh, you know, I always try to give a completely honest and unbiased review on everything. And uh, you know, me personally, I'm a, I'm a big uh, promoter and supporter of Hoyt products. Uh, uh, you know, I've been archery hunting deer and elk and antelope for over 30 years. And for the first, uh, about the first 12 or 14 years, uh, I hunted everything with a, with a custom takedown recurve. And, and I wish that I still had the strength uh, to do that because I love hunting with a recurve. But since I started uh, hunting with compounds, uh, uh, on my initial uh, bow, you know, I tried several different brands and Hoyt just really felt good to me. And I've, and I've always liked the quality. I've never had a problem with any of their products. I've always been very happy with them. And the fact that uh, a lot of their stuff's made in the USA, you know, that's, that's a big uh, thing for me as, as well. Now, uh, is there anything about this quiver that I don't like? Well, there's one thing about the transaction from buying the quiver that I don't like. Um, Again, it's carbon. I understand there's engineering that goes involved in it. I understand there's marketing. I understand that, uh, yeah, you know, there, there's promoting and shipping and, and everything that goes along with that. Having said that, when you get a two-piece quiver in a little box like this from Hoyt, you know, one would expect to, I don't know, maybe spend 75 or, or $100, and I would be fine with that. Yeah, uh, you know, again, I understand there's marketing. I understand that there's engineering involved. There's a lot to it, and I get and I respect that. But for this little two-piece quiver that holds six arrows, I bought it directly from Hoyt's website, and I paid $205 for it. Now, maybe it's just me, but $205, come on, Hoyt. I, 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 I you know... My view is you're kind of price gouging uh, your customers with that. Uh, I don't. I, I do not understand why you're charging two hundred five dollars for this quiver. Is there anything that I don't like about the quiver once it's mounted on my bow? Absolutely not. Will it do the job? I have no doubt that it will do a great job and probably last me. Uh, you know, this is probably my last compound bow. I'm pushing sixty. So so who knows? But two hundred five dollars, uh, you can do better, Hoyt and. And I hope uh, that you do do better in the future. And uh, guys, that's my review. Uh, if you're looking for a good quiver, this is a great quiver. Uh, but I would wait until it goes on sale before you spend 205 bucks for an arrow quiver. 
That's just my review. God bless you and your family and have a great weekend. GoPro, stop recording.